hi guys welcome back to my channel i know it's really dark out i bet you probably can't see me but i'll try and like adjust the brightness because it's nighttime um but i got to the barn guess who i'm riding i'm riding daisy i'm so 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 excited it's been so long literally the last time i rode her it was summer um but i asked my trainer last week i was like can you please ride daisy it's been so long it's been since the summer and she's like you haven't ridden daisy since the summer and i was like yeah so <laughs> now I'm on Daisy, but she's already in a lesson, so I don't have to groom or tack up or anything, but we'll go see you guys in the lesson. So if you're not riding in style, should you even be riding? No. Exactly. <laughs> if you ain't riding in style, you ain't doing Who are you play. riding today? I'm riding Baby. Baby. Who are you riding? I'm riding Mr. Fishy today. The fish man. Okay. See you guys there. Bye. Okay guys, welcome back to another Ride With Me vlog. As I said, I'm riding Daisy and I'm so, so excited to go see her. So it's time to head into the lesson. Door! Hello! So the other lesson is just finishing up and while I wait for Daisy to be done, I'm just hanging out with some of the other horses while the other riders get them prepped, do their prep steps and get ready to mount. Those are my pinkies. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi! Are you working hard? You're working hard. So here is beloved sweet Daisy and I'm so excited for our ride together. Like I said, it's literally been so, so long and I've missed her so, so much. I don't like to pick favorites, but I think it's no secret that Daisy is probably my favorite lesson horse. Don't tell the others, I love them all, but there is truly something special about Daisy and I think everyone at the barn would agree. Since Daisy was already in the lesson, we don't need to do too much of a walk warm up because she already is all warm. So we're picking up the trot after just one lap of walking around. One thing I love about Daisy is she definitely has boss mare energy. She's not nasty, but she will always pin her ears at the other horses as we go by, and I just think it's so funny. She's got to let them know who's boss. This is a great exercise. I love this exercise. It really gets your legs working and burning, good for developing balance and strength. You just really want to make sure that you're not slamming down into the saddle after your two ups for the down. If you're kind of slamming hard onto the saddle, that means you need more strength and more control on the way down. One thing about Daisy is that she will always, always, always stop in that corner where my trainer sits. So when we go by, I have to really make sure that I don't let her stop because she will definitely take advantage of that. And did you say sitting trot from the other one? Okay. Daisy is definitely not the smoothest horse in the barn, but I definitely felt really good in my sitting trot with her today. Maybe I'm just getting better at sitting trot, but it did feel really comfortable on her today. And here we kind of managed our spacing a little poorly. I probably should have done a little circle at the top there so that they would have cleared those poles by the time I was crossing the diagonal. I 
also feel like we were having a really good corner day today. So hopefully we can transfer that over to Cantor and a little bit of a traffic jam here. So just gonna go around. I know, she's like, come on, man. Inside. Something that I think we were doing really well here today as well was staying straight after those poles. Obviously your horse will try and cut the corner at, right after those poles, make it a little bit easier on themselves, but we were doing a good job at staying pretty straight and deep into those corners. <laughs> I think it's actually been a while since we've had no stirrup, so I was definitely in pain after this. I feel like it's been a while since we've done no stirrup work. Really? That's probably nice too in December because it was like Christmas yeah. and all that. You're funny, Daisy. Weird. Are you hot, girl? Good girl. I know you don't like Rolo. Okay, so posting no stirrups. If you don't do this, what are you doing? It is so helpful. I find my lower leg became very stable and strong once we started incorporating lots of no stirrup work. I actually find that no stirrup sitting trot is a lot easier than stirrup sitting trot. So if you're having trouble with sitting trot with your seat, definitely try to do no stirrups if you can. Um, it'll definitely help. <laughs> you said walk and Daisy walked. She's like, yes. She's like, yes. <laughs> Working hard, girl. Now we're just taking a little break, letting our legs stretch from all that painful nose stirrup work that we did before we get ready to cancer. I'll go. Do you want to go with me? Okay. 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 Are you going to tell us when to cross the diagonal? Okay, are you ready, Natalia?
Uh, I guess I was thinking if I was riding someone with a bad lead. I guess I was thinking if I was riding someone with a bad lead. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So I hate to say it, but that has definitely become a really bad habit of mine. I guess I've just gotten kind of used to riding horses who have a difficult time picking up their right canter lead. So now I kind of tend to open my right rein when asking for canter, which is definitely not correct. And I need to break that habit. So today Daisy was definitely feeling a little bit lazy in the canter and I was having trouble keeping her in the canter. I definitely needed to have a little bit more leg on her than I was doing, especially in the corners. She likes to slow down in the corners. Again, she broke at the canter when I asked her to turn. I should have anticipated that and maybe used my crop a little bit if she wasn't responding to my leg. Again, broke the canter. This is my fault. I definitely should have been squeezing her a lot more than I was. Daisy is being extra lazy today in the canter. This diagonal here? Oh. Wrong. Oh. Okay, so even though we crossed the diagonal and changed the lead, that wasn't a proper simple lead change because we basically trotted across the whole diagonal. What was your grip on the diagonal? Can you check both sides? One. Huh? One on each side. Is it? Yeah. Should it be tighter? Huh? Should it be tighter? So we didn't have the best canter there. We were breaking into the trot a lot. Um, definitely my fault. I should have been squeezing her way more than I was. So maybe it was me who was lazy and not Daisy. Oh, that rhymed. Um, anyways, we will do better for the next time. I'll keep this in mind for sure. Let's do posting trot circle and C. Going left. Left, okay. Over the green poles. We go canter at A. Canter down the long side. Back to trot. Diagonal red poles. Trot at C. Yeah. Okay. Diagonal red poles. Sit trot down the long side. A to H. Pick up right lead canter. Okay, so I'm going first on our little course, and I don't know why I always volunteer to go first because I almost always forget something. Yeah. Try easy. Yeah. Try easy. 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 Good girl. Easy. 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 
So I don't know if you guys remember the course, but I am already off course, of course. <laughs> Yeah. Sit. Oh, I don't go up the red ones, right? Okay, let me. No, and then sorry. After the poles, canter at A, and then canter all the way to C. Then you go across the red. Sit, trot, circle, can. Sit trot along the long side. Right lead canter, walk it in. Do you want me to start from the beginning or the green poles? Uh, we'll start from the beginning. Easy. 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 Yeah, I think that would help. Easy. 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 The hardest part that I would say about doing a course with a canter is they always think that they're going to pick up the canter. So trying to hold them back is definitely the hardest part. Easy. Don't open that right rein. Look at the habit. Thank you. Yeah. I should be able to not tell that you're asking for a canter transition. Yeah. Yeah. That's honestly what it looks like when you see like the professional dressage riders. They literally look like they're doing nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I've been riding like Fisher and Bandit yeah. where you need the right anyways. Okay, so I would say that was a pretty successful course, except yeah, I've seemed to develop a really bad habit with opening my right rein just when asking for the right lead canter. Um, that's definitely not correct, especially on Daisy. She has no trouble picking up her leads. Um, it's just a really bad habit and I have to pay extra attention to it just to make sure that I don't let it take over. Okay, let's pull up, guys. Um. So now that our lesson is all done, it's time to spend some time cooling out. So I'm just going to put a cooler on Daisy's back and walk her around the arena for approximately 10 minutes before we head back into the barn. Come on, Daisy. 
so honestly guys i do think that was a really good lesson although we were having trouble breaking stride in the canter i still think we did really really well especially with our transitions i have been feeling so comfortable in the canter lately i don't lose my stirrups anymore i feel pretty confident and i just can't believe this day has come i remember i used to lose my stirrups every single time i cantered and i just couldn't wait until the day where i could say that that doesn't happen anymore yeah. and i can confidently say that that doesn't happen anymore we made it guys we made it um but now i'm just walking daisy around a little bit giving her a little cool down and then we'll head back into the barn and i'll untack her groom her feed her and then turn her out come on So usually we like to tack and untack in the stalls, but at the moment there isn't an available stall. So I'm just going to put Daisy in the cross ties and untack her there until a stall is available. So then she can go in and have some dinner. <laughs> My favorite part about putting the horses away at night is that they all know that it's dinner time and they all nicker. It is so cute. Yes, queen. Slay. So while Daisy eats, I'm gonna groom her down quickly. I'm just gonna use a hard brush and I'm just gonna make sure that I brush away the saddle marks and the sweaty spots before I put her blanket on. Come back. Okay. No problem. Have a good night. Bye. And now I'm just gonna put Daisy's blanket on before she goes outside because it is still cold, unfortunately. Although the horses have already started shedding. Isn't that crazy? Too early, guys, too early. Um, but that was our lesson and that was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.